for question number 165 the correct option is option 4 and show the steps of solution let me draw a quick figure to understand the situation I have drawn two figures one below another the upper one shows situation before collision and the lower one shows situation just after the collision there are two blocks let us number them as 1 and 2 here also 1 and 2 the mass of block 1 that is known to be m and the mass of block 2 that is known to be 4m they have said that initially block 1 is approaching block number 2 with a velocity of v and i might call it following the convention the initial velocity of the block 1 before collision the symbol for that should be u1 that is equal to v and before collision this block number 2 was at rest so i can write using proper symbol u2 is equal to 0 immediately after the collision the block 1 comes to rest and i could write down the velocity of block 1 after a collision we call that v1 so this is 0 and block number 2 moves ahead with an unknown velocity I shall be calling it V2 the purpose of using conventional symbol is that I might use the data information correctly in the formulas we learnt in the theory classes and let us take direction to the right as the plus direction if at all required we are doing step number one here drawing a figure quickly of the situation now applying the principle of conservation of linear momentum it says in the absence of external forces for this two block system linear momentum remains conserved before and after the collision so before the collision for this block one mass is m velocity is v so mv gives me the momentum of this block one before collision plus for block number 2 its mass is 4m but initial velocity was 0 so this term vanishes so you have got here this is the total momentum before the collision for the two blocks after the collision block number 1 comes to rest therefore I can write down the mass is m velocity is 0 and for block number 2 the mass was given to be 4m and the new velocity is v2 unknown but we can find it out now let's see we have got mv is equal to 4m into v2 m's cancelling out and you have got that the velocity v2 of the block number 2 after the collision is v by 4 where v is the velocity of the block number 1 before collision once we have this information that was step number 1 in step number 2 just recall the definition of coefficient of restitution the symbol for that is e e is given by velocity of separation by velocity of approach now velocity of separation is v2 minus v1 let me write that in the original form v2 minus v1 velocity of approach is u1 minus u2 remain careful about this change of order the chance of silly error here v2 just now found to be v by 4 here it is minus v1 well v1 is 0 divided by u1 u1 is v minus u2 that is equal to 0 that's the benefit of using conventional symbols i'm getting this coming out to be 0 0.25 and that is nothing but option number 4 so we conclude that Restitution coefficient is 0 0.25 and that corresponds to option number 4 and that is our choice.